guys, Craig from Fix It Fellows again, and I am in the kitchen. This is a real quick one. Back with the dishwasher. Um, we all, if we're lucky, have a dishwasher. It saves a lot of time uh, and inconvenience. And you probably get through some of this stuff. Your dishwasher salt. Um, and that makes the difference between having nice, bright, clean glassware and uh, sort of uh, knives and forks. Now here's an example, this utensil here is cloudy, this one here is all nice and bright and shiny. So this one's been through a wash cycle where the salt was either low or not getting distributed. This one's been through a wash cycle, all good. Now, you saw my video where I repaired my dishwasher because the water wasn't heating. Well since then I've also been noticing that stuff's been coming out a bit cloudy like this. So. It turns out that your dishwasher needs to know the hardness of the water that's being supplied to it. Didn't really know. Um, there are two ways it does it. There's a manual thing, which this is the manual setting. There's a, a knob, the orange knob there turns and there's a setting of one or two. I think one is for low hardness, two is for high hardness. So this is on two. And it, onto because living here in the southeast of England we have extremely hard water. Um, I've done a little internet search and apparently we've got 276 parts per million I guess that's of calcium or mineral deposits in the water. Now you can convert that to other scales of hardness. Um, there's the German scale, the French scale, the uh, millimetres, million millimetres of moles or whatever it is and yeah it's gobbledygook gobbledygook who, who really understands it but you will find that as well as that manual control in there the brains of your machine also has an electronic control now on this particular model this is a new C according to the user manual which all us gentlemen read don't we well according to my user manual which I have dug out um, my electronic setting for the salt ranges from 0 to 10, with 10 being the hardest water. Uh, and by default, the machine apparently ships with a setting of 5. Now, somewhere along the line, I've managed to override that, and it turns out that I had my machine set to 2. Hence, we weren't getting through much salt and my utensils were coming out cloudy rather than bright and shiny. So on this particular machine, I have to get into the setting mode, which I do by pressing this button here until uh, various lights flashes. Uh, once you're into that setting mode, this light over here flashes the number of times correlating to the setting of this sort. So I've changed all that. What I recommend is you download the manual or dig out the manual for your particular machine if you're having this problem. It will be in there. Get your, uh, your salt setting set to the correct amount and you will be back to having nice bright utensils. So there you go. Another fix it fellows job done. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.